Alright guys, welcome to another episode of the Lure Challenge. Um, if you've not seen the previous episode, basically what I do is take a lure, give it a water test, give it a review, say what I like, say what I don't like, and uh, yeah, give it an overall score out of 10. So, without further ado, today's lure that I'll be using is the Savage Gear 3D Roach Jerkster, jerk bait. Um, it's the 145mm uh, edition, this one. So like the biggest size that they do. Um, yeah, looks like a nice jerk bait. To be honest, I've not not done any jerk bait fishing in, in a long time. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to using this. Um, I just got my first pike and a jerk bait, but yeah, I've, stopped, I've kind of stopped using them recently. So yeah, it'd be nice to start using jerk baits again. Um, this colour is. Uh, red black cobbler so uh yeah kind of um it's kind of like a, a rud color it's like a dark rud so yeah quite a de decent color nice and orange on the base which is nice nice big uh, one out hooks double um double split shot on the back one give it a bit of distance from the lurse which is nice um yeah best thing about this though is you can change the weight of it, you can change how much it rattles and um, yeah, basically like, you know, one lure that does it all I think. It's got like a little um, stopper that you can pull out there and it comes with, um, hang on, they're going all over the place here, but yeah it comes with A load of these balls that you can put in it. Like there's some clear ones that just make it rattle, and then some metal ones that you put in there, uh, give it a bit of weight. So, yeah, I think I'll just start with um, one metal one and one clear one, see how it goes. I'm only going on canal today, it's not too deep, but it's got a nice solid rattle to that. <laughs> so, yeah, should be nice and interesting. Um, so yeah, I'll get out there, give it a test, and I'll see you back here when I'm done to uh, give my review. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. There's a bike. There we go. Second cast. Oh no, it's come off. <laughs> Into a pike, second cast then. On the old uh, 3D jerkster. There's one, there we go. Into another pike straight away. It's about three casts later or so. Feels like a decent fish as well, this. <laughs> yes. That was literally like three casts after that first one then. Staying nice and deep anyway, whatever it is. Get my uh, net ready. coming up. Oh, it's not that big. <coughs> Just uh, quite an odd fighter. 
<laughs> literally like I, I've literally, uh, yeah, like five casts I've fished, I've had an hit and then I'm into a fish again. So <laughs> that's awesome. It's not a bad one. Maybe eight pound or so. Big old scar on its back. Well, that is a weird fish, actually. Right, bent back. There we go. <laughs> First pike on the uh, 3D jerkster. Nice little lip up as well. Not a bad start for the day. That's that's got such a weird body and it's got a huge scar there. And it's just like <laughs> it's like bent. But a pike, I'll weigh this pike. Just see, I'm guessing eight pound. But we'll have to see. Let's have a look. Uh, with the net it's 10.01 so yeah, eight pound. But bang on eight pound. It's a nice first pike of the day. Get him released. <laughs> I feel that's pretty elusive anyway. Swimming back into that as always. It goes. Yep. <laughs> well, off to a flying start with this. To say I haven't used a jerk bait in ages as well, I'm uh, not doing bad with it. Well, <coughs> came out a bit earlier because it was forecast to rain at five, but it's um, four o'clock now and it's chucking it down already. So, I think I'm just going to head back to that first um, lock gate where I had that pike. Fish there for 10 or 15 minutes and then call it a day, I think. If it carries on raining, that is anyway. And then maybe I'll come back tomorrow and finish this video off. Depends on the weather again, I suppose. Whoa, just nearly died. Well guys, um, as you probably just saw, ended up casting it off into the sunset. Um, completely my fault. I forgot to take some traces with me. Only one I had was like a manky old Chinese one but I put it on anyway and yeah it broke so yeah lost it only had about an hour with it but I'll finish this review anyway um I might not even upload this now but yeah it's like a backup one for me <laughs> but um yeah anyway had about an hour with it had um one pike and another one that got off as well so yeah not bad really it was a decent pike eight pounds um, the weather wasn't great, so that didn't really help, you know, it was really overcast, really dark, 
and um, yeah it's just um, the way it goes sometimes but yeah it was I did enjoy using it to be honest I'm not I'm not great at jerk bait, using jerk baits you know I've, I've not used them in a long time to be honest <laughs> properly anyway so it's like my first proper jerk bait I've used I've, I've had in ages so yeah I really enjoyed get it, using it um, made a nice change for me usually I just use swim baits and stuff but yeah um, just get I'll get down to the uh, to the review part the list price uh, this was 14.99 uh, in British pounds which is, is decently priced you know so 7 out of 10 for price I'll give that uh, it's not the cheapest, not the most expensive. It's quite cheap for a Savage Gear one, to be honest. You know, a big, uh, big Savage Gear layers usually run you a bit more than that. But yeah, forty ninety nine, not too bad. Seven out of ten. Um, versatility. Now, with it having the changeable sink rate, I can't show you now. But you know, you can you can run it really shallow. You can run it deep. With it being a jerkbait, you can fish it exactly how you want to fish it with with your rod tip, if you know how. Um, comes in natural colours, comes in bright colours, so yeah, versatility. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten because yeah, you can use it wherever, however. So yeah, decent. Um, confidence. How confident am I using the lure? How confident am I that I'll catch with fish? Um, yeah, I mean it caught me a pipe straight like five minutes, literally after getting it you know in the water so yeah I'm pretty confident with it um, after that I didn't really have much action but I mean it, it was bad weather I want I'm not the best at jerk baits like I've said already so you know I might not be fishing it properly but yeah decent confidence in it it's I'll get I'll give that a 9 out of 10 I did catch a decent pike on it so yeah 9 out of 10 for confidence um, build quality didn't get to use it for that long again, but you know, didn't have any issues with it um, that I can remember anyway. You know, it didn't leak through the uh, little part all the way, changed the weight, but yeah, build quality 9 out of 10 again for that. Decent build quality. Um, last thing is fun factor how much did I enjoy using the lure when I had it? Um, and yeah, it was enjoyable. You know, like I said, it's a, it was a change for me using a jerk bait. But you know, it's nice. It's nice. It's, it like gives you a nice feeling when you know that you are putting the action into the lure one hundred percent, rather than it being a crack bait or a swim bait or a spinner bait where the action's in the lure. You know, you're making the action sort of thing. So you know, it makes it kind of interesting, kind of fun. You know, you can mix it up quite a lot. So yeah, it's a good fun lure. So I'll give that a. Um, 8 out of 10 for fun factor. So do the maths on those and we'll see what it gets overall. So overall the um, Savage Gear 3D Jets I guess at 8.4 out of 10. So that's um, tied with the uh, Spro BBZ so far and you know they've all been really good lures that I've uh, tested so far. I need to find some crap really don't I? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Probably won't be as long or as good as I hope because I uh, cast it off. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Any recommend anything you want me to um, review? Leave a comment down below, and um, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.